what your research person is doing. They also uh, research the issues and all that. Um, the next one, and I call this is the targeting director. That is the person is basically set the tone to tell you where you need to go in a campaign, what precincts you need to work. You know what I mean? You got to do that before. Like I say, you're uptown, you're uptown, and you ain't going to get a single vote there. You got to look at it. You're wasting your time. You know what I mean? Identification. They pose an ID. Everybody registered and registered, unregistered in those precincts that you identify. You also need ID because at the end of the day, at the election, at the end of the election, you want to have a group of people, whether it's 1,000, 2,000, that you identify, and your main job is just to get them to the poll. We're not talking about people that walks up to the poll. We're talking about uh, Chairman said he's going to vote, and you have these are people you have to call. Do you need a ride just to make sure they vote? You know what I mean? Things like that. That's what that person is for. Fundraising director, it's not only about raising money. The fundraising director is basically a hustler. And what I mean by that, that is the person that also, if you need a place, free of charge, you need chairs, you need tables, you might need some food. He know where to get that. That's the, that's the job of the fundraiser, along with everything else, you know. Publicity. Mr. Byrne, he made a good point. You got to get your, your uh, that person is for to do your uh, press release and how you can get free press, especially if you haven't raised any money yet. You know what I mean? You visit the radio stations, the news stations, send issue paper to these people. And like he said, just basically, dog people and they say, who is this fool running? You know what I mean? Let me see what is it, what his issues is. You know what I mean? And you have to be that way. Now the volunteer coordinator is key. This is the person that basically directs your army. And what I mean by that, this is the person if you have a phone operation to make sure people are phoning. If you got a, 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 a canvassing operation, all that. He also the person, if lady right here in green, she want to make calls, but she get to arguing on the phone. We got to say, we can't just fire because she volunteered. We got to say, what, can't you do canvassing or something like that? That's what the coordinator has to be able to do is move those volunteers to best serve them. And they also got to do be the person that basically if you, got, if you got an endorsement, and we'll get to that, if you get endorsements, and say it's a union, and they say they're going to send 10 people over there, and they send 10 people, 10 people over there, you got to have something for them to do. You, if you had them sitting around drinking coffee, eating donuts, they're going to go back and say, I ain't going over there no more. They didn't have, I mean, I like them, I may vote, but they didn't have me doing nothing. You know, those are the kind of things you have to basically, that, that coordinator. And he, his job starts from the beginning, you know what I mean, uh, of the campaign. When you identify those precincts, and I like to do this in, in some cases, and I, I know in some places, they may not like be back burn. Where I live at, all they do is signs, mailings, and they might have calls. Nobody knocks on doors. They don't even do a lid drop. You know what I mean? In some place, and, and, and if you even do a lid drop, but you train those volunteers when they go out, even though they lid drop, so like, what you dropping this? This is for Earl O'Neill, he's running for county council. He does this, this is his report. And when you do a lid drop, it has to be a piece of literature that resonate with the people. You know what I mean? That's, 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 that's the thing about, you may, you may not knock it on every door and taking that time, but if you, and people say, oh, that's right, I didn't know that. Because you'd be surprised. I'm t and I'm not talking, man, you, you can relate this, Charles. Um, you have people, I ain't talking about poor people. 
I'm talking about middle class people. They basically don't know what's happening where they live in. He gave you a good example of money that the council people have or the assembly. Give you an example in, 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 in Prince George's County. The county council, they get paid 120000 They get a car. Then they get a car allowance. And guess what? They get $100,000 each year basically to give to civic association, non a nonprofits, and things like that. We got council people who basically give it to, it's called a community foundation. It's a, it's a, it's a, a group, and I always tell people, they get upset with me, you have a better chance of hitting the lottery than getting money from them. You know what I mean? They, 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 the council people don't even take time to identify organizations in their, 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 their districts to give out money. You know what I mean? That's real bad. You know. The office manager. Now, that's, that's the, that's the, they, the, she managed the office. She makes sure everything is flowing. Calls, people coming in, the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? And you have to have a good person to do that kind of stuff. And you, you know, can you go to the next one, please? One thing, and, and, and Charles probably, somebody else probably can tell you, you have to have meetings every yes. weekly meetings. You know, we, and, 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 and when we was working with Harold Washington, it was a Friday night meeting. <laughs> and everybody, if you, you had to stand up and give a report what you done done. You know what I mean? If you want to help out, you got to give a report because you don't know where your campaign going if you don't have that. You, you, you have to know that kind of stuff. And, 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 and you have to prepare a budget. This doesn't have to be a big budget. It's just a, a, a line item budget of things you're going to need. Some first things you need, you might need some yard signs. You might need a leaflet. Uh, and it might be a cheap leaf lift to start off, if you're just starting, where you can get 20000 for less than $500. I'm just saying to start off, until you get raised more money. Because believe me or not, once you catch on, more people are going to catch on to your campaign. They will catch on, you know what I mean, and, and do that. And, and uh, so you have to do a budget. You know, and do a flow chop. And the finance committee is the person to make sure they approve what you're gonna spend, how you're gonna spend it. And, and let, let me, I'm gonna I'm break now. I'm going back and forth, but let, let me tell you about the uh, the two campaigns, the three campaigns, the presidential. And when I was doing my job, we uh, we could lease get funds from the unions and the Democratic Party. I'll tell you what's happening. Um, Sanders, let me, let me, let me go, it's just me. Y'all wonder why Aaron the way he is. <laughs> I got this thing where you minister Barack Obama, Sanders, when you ain't got no black folks around you, I got a problem. I, I, I just do it. I mean, people like Obama, like I, I, I told him yesterday, and, and Charles know this, it's women that was sick, was sick in 08. They was dying, but they wanna vote for Obama. They voted for Obama, they still living. If you go right in there and say that man did a bad job, he they'll put you out their house. They will put you in that sun. I was agreeing with everything you say, but don't talk. They got a picture right in between John Kennedy and Martin Luther King to put Obama. You know what I mean? They will cuss you out. I say that is that Bernie Sanders had a woman that he met last year. The woman, the Turner was up from uh, uh, the state center. That was his top black person. You know what I mean? 
When he lost the South Carolina primary, they put no money in, in the black community, even though they was going into Georgia. Now Georgia's got two or three, and they got mad at John Lewis because all John Lewis said, I don't remember him in the Civil Rights Movement. He just said, I don't remember. They jumped all on him. I'm not saying he's right, but that's a trick. You talk to anybody, oh, because he was in the Civil Rights Movement. But what I'm saying, at, at that time, Bernie was raising at a clip, what, $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 a day. Hillary Clinton, you know, she, her campaign, it was asked for her to just give signs. Give us signs so we could put in people's yards. You had the power to be say, no, the signs are not useful. If you go to Virginia, rural Maryland, you had Trump signs all over the place. I'm just talking about yard signs. I ain't talking about giving nobody that's, say that's a million dollars. Do you know how much money she had left over from the campaign? $87 million. I say this, it's not only the Democratic Party, they're not putting no money in the black turnout. They did not put no money. in some of the Congress people, if you gave them a million dollars, they wouldn't know how to do it. But that's the thing that's different from the past. They're not putting money in there, and then, and then people are still supporting them in doing things, you know what I mean? So that's one of the problems, that they just, they raised tons. Obama made it that they raised record. Those old ladies I'm talking about, if they had an email, they was hitting them the whole eight years for $20. Oh, it's Michelle's birthday, give $100. It's Obama's birthday. And they was giving that money up. You know what I mean? And, and they had tons of money, but they gave it to no. You had black folks working for them. But they, and you got, and, and I hate to say this, you know, you got black folks working for campaigns, but they don't want to work in the black community. You know, I'm, a, I'm an operative, I, that, that's below me. And that's another thing I want to tell you. If you're running for office, you can't be scared to walk, walk down the street. I don't care how it is, you can't be scared, ah, because they can tell. You know, you, you got to be able, because that, when you scared to walk down the street, that's your biggest precinct. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know what they say? Well, kids and dogs can tell you if you're scared. <laughs> so you, you have to be able to do those kind of things, you know what I mean? Um, uh, you have to like solicit. You gotta basically ask your friends. I tell, Aaron knows. I, I you know people tell me to run for office, but you know what you gotta do. You gotta identify. Oh, y'all got Facebook. You gotta identify like a hundred to two hundred people that you can raise a hundred dollars for. If they your friends, say you need a hundred dollars, and you raise them. That's where you start at. You know what I mean? If they won't give you a hundred, see if they buy two tickets for fifty dollars. I mean, for $25 for a fundraiser for it. Those are the kind of things you have to do. You know. Okay, the other thing is that you have to develop a message. <laughs> like like uh, Simley Byrne said, he said he was rolling until the man said about the rent in the black clubs. You may think that stuff is dumb, it worked. It was, it was one in Virginia. Virginia have a car tax. If you own a car, you got to pay taxes every year, no matter what. And this guy, the Republican ran on that. So when he won and people's car tax came in November, they said, well, I ain't got to pay no taxes. I voted so and so. They said, no, it don't work like that. You know what I mean? When you have to have a message that resonates with people to get them out. You know what I mean? And, and, and when you're talking about running here, you have to have black folks, something that I call, you have to show them the fear of lo losing something. You gotta show them that they gonna lose something if they don't vote. You know what I mean? Because I tell people now, everybody's worrying about Trump. I say, I'm not looking at Trump, I'm looking at people right on me. You know, right, right where I'm at. You know, we in Prince George's County, I don't know if you heard, we just built a $1.4 billion casino. Casino. 
Last, for the month of March, it made 141 million. If you went to the county exec right now and asked them, get, how, could you give me five black contractors that made five to $10 million, he couldn't even tell you, because it didn't happen. Because what they do, they see you're gonna be tricked by minorities. Especially when you go by the federal numbers, which is 48 different classifications. You have to go by the county. So they do a report, oh, they exceed their minority participants. No, how many blacks got money? You know what I mean? And see, when in a construction site like that, after the brick and mortar and the steel, once that is gone, a lot of that money is already built. So you have those kind of problems. Those are issues that you can tell people that they're taking your money. My, I have a thing. If you're building a new McDonald's, Walmart, you can do it. You can hire anybody you want. But when you use my tax money, you got to have some minorities. I mean, black folks working on there. You know, giving them jobs. Because when a person tell you jobs, you got to say, for who? For where? Is it in my community? You know what I mean? And it goes back to my thing when I say you can't blame stuff on white folks. We got to educate some young boys. You know what I mean? And I'm... You know, I'm, I'm like you in a sense. Uh, sometimes the churches, not, not like you dress, the churches say, come as you are. Young boys go for a job interview. You can't have, be sagging going to a job interview. You can't smoke a blunt before you went to that. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't go with flip-flops if you're a woman. And, and, you know, because what they're going to tell you, oh, I'll get back with you. <laughs> That's just what they're going to tell you or you can't pass a piss test. You know what I mean? You, we have to tell them that, you know, because they're saying, oh, I can't find nobody's on time. I was telling the chairman yesterday, I remember when, when I was young, my mama used to tell me you gotta have a phone, and if